Y'all, I am so excited. If you're wondering where I am, I am underneath my house. We have a hand dug basement under the house that Andy's grandpa dug way back in the day um, when this house was built. This is where I keep all my canned stuff. I've got store-bought shelves down here that things are just kind of piling up. I'm putting up more and more food every year and I'm running out of room. So, I have sweet talked my dear husband into hopefully building me some shelves here in a little bit. And um, now, this is not going to really be an educational video, just kind of showing y'all. Uh, so, you may see some things like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I done it that way, you know. But, anyways, I just wanted to bring y'all along and show you. So, I'm going to give you a quick sweep through. This is before, and it's tight down here. And so, I'm excited to show you the process and the after. I got all my canned food moved from this back wall back here. So we're gonna start hanging boards. As you can tell, it ain't very tall down here. What is it, Andy? Five foot? Oh, it's too short for me. Really needs to be dug out. But that might happen later in our life. This house was built uh, around 1940, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, it was Andy's grandpa's house. And like I said, he's the one dug this basement. And uh, so this basement uh, acts as a root cellar for us. It's an excellent place where I store most of my can my canned goods. I keep my winter squash down here. We used to keep our potatoes down here, but I'm trying something a little different this year. They're down in uh, the stable. Um, that's uh, on down on the property. So it stays right now. You can see I got my sweatshirt on. It's pretty cool outside today. Usually down here, it stays between 50 to, I don't know that it ever gets up to 70, maybe 50 to 65 degrees down here, whether it's freezing outside, um, or in the heat of the summer when it's 95 degrees outside, it's cooler down here than it is in my house with the air on. Um, so it does act as a good root cellar. Now, one thing we have noticed, and I think it's because our duct work runs through here uh, as well, is in the summertime, there's a lot of condensation on the duct work and the humidity that's outside. Uh, it does get pretty humid down here more than I would like for it to. I tried to store some onions down here and that didn't work out real well. Now, everything else stores pretty well. The onions, though, uh, didn't fare as good, and so they seem to keep better just up in the house, and I think it was the heat and the moisture. So, I'm excited about my shelves, though, y'all. I've been waiting on this a long time. <laughs> Stack them up at the basement Mama, door. Give me some more. All right. That's your handy. That's my only child. The little small one. How many you want? Is that enough? One more. You got it. all these extra things that you just watched us put in there. So this shelf is solely gonna be for canned food. 
a lot of people don't realize canned food gets really heavy really fast so we want to make sure that it's got enough support to hold all my jars because i bought some store belt bought shelves and different things and they can't they don't hold up to the weight of the jars so hopefully this uh this lumber will do it this lumber actually came off of our own land andy milled it with his sawmill um so i guess you could kind of minus our time and the fuel to run the sawmill this wood was free what yeah say? pretty much <laughs> yeah our shelves are going to sit or we're going to lay the boards across here and they're going to sit on top of these so now we got to go cut those shelves it's gonna be four boards a piece that's 20 boards for that one shelf we we'll probably have to break into them long ones. Y'all, I gotta say, I'm pretty dang proud of myself. There's some boo-boos in this here, but uh, they're gonna be done. And I'm gonna have a happy wife, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely hasn't took all of a Saturday, but it's took most of a Saturday. But uh cool thing is and as much stuff as I've built with my own lumber. The cool thing is when you get done building something with lumber you cut on your own sawmill, it just makes a difference. And y'all this lumber has been cut for close to a year. It's probably been ten to eleven months. It hadn't even been wrapped up. I meant the last time that I sawed lumber, I was going to wrap everything up so it couldn't get a rain and all on it. Well, guess what? It never happened. It tends to be a tendency of mine. Thinking you're going to do something. And you don't. 
This right here has been on Megan's wish list for years. But uh, she's finally getting what she wants today. It's about time. I don't think they're going anywhere, that's for sure. These are some sturdy shells. A whole lot better than what she had down here. And not only does it make you feel good knowing you used your own lumber, but y'all, this stuff right here, I know this lumber ain't that pretty, because, and that's because it's been weathered on. But uh, this is 10 times better than the stuff you buy in the store. Even, even though it's pine, it's so much better. You couldn't draw a screw up in a, in a lumber like that from a store because it was split. The shells are almost done. Andy had to go trim a little bit off of a couple of the boards that were going on top. Uh, it had to shave just a little bit off of them. But uh, I'm just so, so, so excited. I've been wanting shells down here for years, um, especially the last couple of years since I've been putting up so, so much food, um, running out of places to put it, you know. And we've got the perfect place for it. Just need to, needed to just bite the bullet and do it. So, uh, this is just rough cut lumber, like you've heard him say. It's just rough cut, um, nothing fancy. It hadn't been uh, on a planer or nothing like that, but it's gonna serve a good purpose. And I'm gonna tell you what, he made this thing good. It don't look like it's going anywhere. I can't wait to show y'all the finished product once I get all my, once I get all my can stuff and all that, that on there. Um, I just love this root cellar and it's something uh, that I think is unique because you can't find them you know, new houses, unless you make one yourself. I don't even know if people make root cellars anymore. I don't think they do, you know. Um, and so I just feel real lucky, even though this house is an older house, um, I feel real lucky that we have this root cellar under here because like I said, my this is where I keep all my canned stuff. Um, I've actually kept some watermelons down here that have kept pretty good. Um, they're starting to try to go bad now, but um, throwing those out to the chickens, uh, winter squashes, all that. Uh, it's a perfect place to keep that stuff. And so it makes me super happy. I'm trying to keep some cabbage down here this um, fall. Once my cabbage heads come in, we'll see how that goes because it is cooler down here and not as humid in the fall. Because I tried it in the spring and it didn't work great. So I'm excited to show you all the final product. Y'all just. Y'all just don't know. It makes me so happy. I got about cry. <laughs> All right. So we worked through most of the night last night till about 10 o'clock. Um, I was down here organizing, getting my things put up. Um, and so this is kind of like my little grocery store down here. And I'm just tickled to death with these shelves. And like I said earlier in the video, I just feel blessed to have this space to uh, store my stuff like this. So I've got my Kershaw squash down here on the bottom. I've got some sweet potatoes back here behind me. I'll show you in just a second. Um, but having it more organized like this and all in one place, I can see more of what I have of everything. Um, and it looks like a lot right now because we're just now, you know, going into fall and winter. So this, you know, we'll eat through a whole lot of this this winter and, and spring before our garden starts coming back in. I've got a bunch of lard left back up here uh from our hogs last year so usually what i do is my old lard i will give it to my chickens and i'll also um 
make a lot of soap with the leftover lard and I give it to the chickens because the chickens need some fat, you know, over the winter to help them stay warm and they, they actually love it. So, <laughs> um, but so come on this way. Um, I've got some of my fruit stuff up here on the, on the top, a uh, bunch of tomatoes. I told Andy last night, if we live, if you know, the world come to an end, we'd be living off uh tomatoes and green beans corn and any kind of bean i got a bunch of different kinds of beans just beans in general canned <laughs> uh and lord we'll have something to fry it in um but i've got my winter squash down here uh some acorn squash and butternut squash all up under there i've got all my sweet potatoes in these baskets where i can just pull them out and uh grab me some sweet potatoes so andy did a great job y'all know how excited i am to finally have a, me a good shelf down here because those store-bought shelves they just can't like i said they just can't hold up to the weight so um i hope you enjoyed this video uh this is kind of a first for the channel i've never really come down here and showed y'all my stockpile which i have um another pile upstairs that's not even down here but um <coughs> this is roughly a year's worth of food maybe a little more um because we do eat it quite a bit at home we would like to start eating more uh, for like lunch and stuff too so we're trying to move more towards that eating some of our stuff for lunch as well so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned a little something if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel um i think you can learn a lot i'm gonna put uh one of these little boxes on the side over here that'll take you to my food preservation playlist if you're interested in learning how to can any of this stuff that you've seen here and i hope i've got a lard video out but it's a couple of years old so i hope to do a new one this year when we start our um hogs so anyways till next time see y'all later